Hey everybody, my name is John Fogarty here with First Updates Now and I'm here at the Peachtree District Dalton event. Here with Team 4910 East Cobb Robotics. First Updates Now FRC is produced in partnership with PTC. On Friday, May 29th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, come check out the incredible submissions for the Robots to the Rescue Challenge at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. PTC will be providing giveaways for both submitted robots and for those who watch live. Don't forget that you can register for Onshape for free and start designing right in your browser at onshape.com forward slash education dash plan. They're ranked third here at Peachtree uh, on day two, right before playoffs, and they built one of the most impressive robots here at the event. So we're going to go around and try to figure out a little bit about how they built it, designed it, and how it works. So let's start out with the intake feeder system. Uh, how did you guys come up with that? And if you want to spin it around to show it a little better, you can do that. So I'll let you take it, whoever wants to. All righty. So one of our uh, really cool features of this robot is our intake. We are able to pick up from all of the station ports, uh, and we have a really cool tracking mechanism on this thing, which we would like to show off. So, so what you'll see is that the ball will be tracked by one of our limelights, and the drivetrain will actually compensate to help our drivers pick up the ball. It's basically like assistive driving to get those balls exactly where we want them. And you'll watch as um, I put power to the bot, it will turn to follow the ball. It will track the ball closest to the bot. That's really cool. I don't believe I've seen many, if any, teams doing that yet this year. That's awesome. So uh, next we'll move up to our uh, turret here you've got one that looks like it collapses down that's pretty cool so this turret was designed after some of the legendary West Coast teams uh, you see we have our turret here uh, running the uh, West Coast products uh, flywheels and then we have an adjustable hood that's run by a Neo 550 that helps us get exactly where we want and then we have a limelight down here that helps us with the tracking and range finding and then the turret rotates uh, to figure out angle. And then you guys have got a uh, dual hook climber, it looks like. Anybody want to talk about that? All right, so our climber is a kind of folding, uh, some kind of switch-like system. Uh, you have pneumatic cylinders in the front that pop it up real quick, and then we have a dual winch system that pulls it down, allows us to uh, balance to a certain extent. We can split them off and retract them at different rates. Um, and then there's a, got a few tricks where we can slide across the bar a little bit, but um, yeah. Awesome. And then to finish things out, it looks like you're one of the few teams that did plan for the color wheel, even if we haven't really activated it many times yet. Um, anybody want to talk about that real quick? So uh, we, we knew it would be an important part of the game to get to level two and level three. Um, it's a really simple pneumatic piston that um, pulls it up and then it's a uh, Neo 550 that spins it. Uh, and we have a, the color sensor hanging over the top for the third stage as well. Really not a difficult system to build, but really effective in its use. Well, that's all we have for you here at uh, the Peachtree District Dalton event with Team 4910 East Cobb Robotics. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with PTC. Don't forget that you can register for Onshape for free and start designing right in your browser at onshape.com forward slash education dash plan. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live and independent.